Guys, we need to talk. And so the first point on our three-point agenda today is Thunderer Defense. I'll set up a scene for you. You have just arrived at Amp Station and deployed your Thunderer, and there are a lot of people spawning. And so you all go into facility either to do your job or bash your head against the wall. Then the enemy has had enough with your zerging around the base and they decide to destroy the Sunday. And they manage to get few good shots on the Thunderer, taking out 30% of its life. Now here's the $30,000 question, what do you do? Option A, you go and hide in the corner hoping for the best. Option B, you try to resolve the the conflict through yell chat. Option C, you go fight the enemies that are trying to hurt your Sunday, or you pick up an NG and start repairing Sunday. Option D, you play dubstep music through your proximity chat. And guys have a few seconds to decide which option you'll take. So results are in, if you choose A or B option, you're brain dead, congratulations! If you choose D, you're biggest douchebag I know. And keep in mind that dubstep music is not A music. And before you go out on full on rage, remember that there is something called epic music. Try comparing dubstep to that, okay? We'll see who wins. And now moving on to the second point. On Woodman server when alert starts, sometimes there is one faction who simply decides to fight against another big faction who is always winning, not taking any objectives, simply screwing with them just so they don't win. On Woodman server I have mostly seen NC doing this. Remember, the topic is that one faction decides to screw with another faction right from the start, not in the middle, not in the end, right from the start, not participating in any alert or event. And honestly, I got to say, this topic already should make you ashamed of yourself if you ever have done this. And keep in mind, the people who have never led a platoon won't understand this. And please don't start the flame war about the things you don't understand. And so the thing behind this is quite simple, there are 2 hour and 1 hour alerts. Either which way you have plenty of time to make a difference, so why don't you try? It's just pathetic to see that you are trying to gang up on somebody who is better than you. And also it shows your incompetence towards your people. And that's not trolling, trolling is usually one person's effort. But when you have 48 people or more trying to do the same thing, and that's being a dick. And in case you didn't get the message, go and ask TR Max to perform lobotomy on you. Maybe that'll fix it. And so the last thing on my list is vehicle repairing. And I'm quite annoyed that you need to point at certain areas on the vehicles for you to start repairing them. Take the Liberator, for example. You need to point the damn thing on the middle of the vehicle for you to start repairing it. And if you're in Harasser's Rumble Seat, you need to point at the wheel to start repairing. But the best thing about Harasser is that developers didn't intend us to repair it from the Rumble Seat, right? But they do like the option. And at this point I got to say, if you approve of this Rumble Seat repair, please improve the hitbox on which you can repair to. And not the same, please. Fix the other vehicle repair hitboxes as well, because it's kind of a pain in the ass to repair the fucking vehicle at certain position. 